Hello everyone. So I hope you are in best of your health at the moment. So let's solve this question from partial differential equation. It says form partial differential equation by eliminating arbitrary constant. So we have to eliminate arbitrary constant and form partial differential equation. So how to go ahead with this? So let's suppose this as your equation number one. So first step is uh, to partially differentiate the given equation with respect to x. So partially differentiate your equation number one with respect to x, taking y as constant. That's obvious. So you will get del z by del x. which we also write as p that will be because we are partially differentiating with respect to x so only term number 1 will be taken as to consideration because derivative of a square y square will be zero because y is a constant a is anyway a constant and derivative of b is also zero now derivative of ax with respect to x a is a constant derivative of x is one so finally you will get one a okay So let's write this as equation number two. Now we'll repeat the same step, but this time we'll partially differentiate with respect to y. So we will write partially, partially differentiate equation number one with respect to y. Taking x as constant, so you will get your del z by del y. That will be equal to q, obviously. And what is del z by del y here? Uh, in the solving for del z by del y, the first term. Let's use different color. First term because it is x and y, a. So a is a constant. X in this scenario is constant, and b. So this two will be uh, its derivative will be zero, and we'll take care of only the middle term, which is a square y square. So a square out derivative of y square is two y. So a square two y. So two a square y. Let's name this as equation number three. Okay. Now, what can we do in place of a? We can put a p here. Okay. In place of two a square y. Okay. Wait. Just modify this equation a little bit. Then we will name it as equation number three. So, what modifications I will do? I will write uh, q here is this, so q by two will be your a square y. Okay. Uh, fine. And how to eliminate b? That is the problem here. How to eliminate b? Because a we can eliminate, b we can eliminate. What about this? But again, if you put this uh, value of a square y as q by two, then also a constant b is left over. So we are not able to eliminate all the arbitrary constant. So you can do uh, one more thing. Don't need uh, this equation anyway. What we can do is instead of going back to equation number one, we can do something with equation number two and three. What we can do? Uh, from equation number three, what we have? We have q equals to two a square y. And from equation number two, what we know, the value of p is equal to a. 
so you can write this as q equals to 2 instead of a square i can write p square and then the y so q equals to 2 p square y this is a partial differential equation so sometimes instead of going back to equation number 1 we can deal with equation number 2 and 3 also to get to our partial differential equation so i hope you learned something new from this problem a new idea how to uh, form a partial differential e equation so that's it from my side thanks and have a very nice day